Hi, so this is a video to take you through the tracking tool um, and how this is going to help you get a better mark in music. So this is the higher one. Um, there's three different areas to music, performing, understanding and composing. Whether you're doing National 5, higher or advanced higher, you have to do all three. Um, they just get a little bit harder for each one. So for all the listening and musical literacy side, you've got all the concepts split up into the different groups um, and into the different levels. If I go into styles, I can see that I've got all the things that I need to know being given to me right at the start of the course. Um, you can obviously go in and revise them. You can decide how well you know things. Like if you listen to a lot of blues music already and you're really confident, you can go in and start marking how confident you are with these. There's revision websites at the side to help you, um, particularly with any knowledge that let's say NAT5, if you've already done um, NAT5, um, you can go away and have a look at that uh, if you're taking the higher course, you know, so top up, identify your gaps in knowledge and go and top them up. For the performing side, if you go into your performing plan, you can start actually putting into your performing plan the instruments you're going to play for your teacher. So I'm going to do guitar, let's say, and a bit of keyboard. If you get an external or an internal teacher, like um, maybe I get Mr. Anderson for guitar, who's our visiting guitar instructor. Um, as you start to work on pieces, you can put these in here. So I'm doing somewhere over the rainbow and building up my skills a little bit that way. Um, and you can actually even put the timings in as you start to learn them. So let's say it's a nice two minute version. I put two minutes in there and I'll start totaling up the music for you there. If you hit the minimum time, these areas will go green. If I go into instrument one now, I've got my first piece. I can put the date in. Um, I can put a next step in. So I've got to learn, learn the first four bars. And this lets your teacher see where you're at and where you're going over time as well with this. You can mark how confident you feel about each of these areas. Things like melodic accuracy intonation, that means how good are the notes? Uh, you know, are you, are you playing the correct notes in the music? Rhythmic accuracy, are you playing the correct rhythms? Um, tempo flow, you're playing at the right speed. Are you doing dynamics or volume changes? Are you getting the mood and character of a piece? Um, and the tone, the sound that the instrument's making. If you do a recording for your teacher, even just a little audio recording, just pop a yes in here um, and it'll let your teacher see. Um, if you want to see how the examiner marks your final work, I've also popped in the examiner sheet here and you can see the areas I've just talked about and then a little phrase like, oh, it's excellent and they would give you marks between nine and 10. So when you're picking those numbers, back on instrument one, you're going, well, actually for this piece, I might be struggling with the rhythm, but I'm, I'm pretty secure now um, with the notes, with the melody, you can mark it using that. That's the main gist of it. Save yourself a copy, share it with your teacher. Um, really do get into all the different concepts here and really think, where are my gaps in learning? Don't wait for us, um, please go and uh, try and find your own gaps in learning.